Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a fish with eyes bigger than its body. That is correct. Today I'm going to be drawing in my Soho Urban Artist sketchbook, and today I'm going to be drawing with my Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter size pen. But without further ado, let's go ahead and flip my sketchbook open to the nearest open page. And once I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and figure out if I want to stay in portrait or go to landscape. Do I want to stay in portrait or do I want to go to landscape? Hard question to answer, but I'm thinking I'm going to go with landscape. I'm thinking I'm going to go with that. So let's go ahead and bring my phone down just a little bit more, move it back just a little bit more as well. Go ahead and just center that in the screen just like that. And most of the time when I'm drawing fish, I tend to start with the jaw, but today I'm actually not going to. I'm going to start with the eyes instead. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one eye right here, and that's a very big eye. I'm gonna draw another eye right here, just like that. And then now I'm gonna do the jaw going through, just like that. Okay, while I am more happy with this than not, it, I haven't quite accomplished my goal. I wanted to draw a fish with eyes bigger than its body. The eyes of this fish are very big, but they're not bigger than its body. So uh, I have not quite accomplished my goal, even though I'm, I'm pretty actually happy with this fish. I actually like how it looks. It's not what I was trying to draw. So I need to give this another shot. So let's go and do just that. And let's try again. So I think this time, actually, I am going to start off with the jaw. I think it'll give me a, a good sort of metric for how big the body is going to be and how big I need to draw the eyes in, in um, correlation. So let's go ahead and start off the jaw right here. No, it's still too big. try this again. So I'm actually going to start more towards the middle of the page and I'm going to do just a jaw that's like that big and I'm going to do a massive eye right there and another massive eye right there and then just like that. I've drawn something completely different. This is not a fish. I don't know how I did this. I like how it looks. It's just not what I'm trying to draw. This is actually a harder thing to do than I was kind of thinking. Interesting. Well, yeah, that's not quite what I'm looking for in all honesty. Let's, let's give it another shot. So how do I want to do this? I need to think this through a little bit before I give it another shot. Because uh, I'm all I'm doing right now is wasting paper on drawings I like, but are on drawings that are not quite what I'm looking for. So what I need to do is I need to I could just draw the fish with no eyes and then I could. I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Draw the fish with no eyes and then just add eyes to it. It's probably what I'm going to have to do. I'm thinking because the eye to be bigger than the body is going to have to go outside the body anyway. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to have to do. So let's go ahead and just draw a pretty small fish. Nothing too complex, just a simple little fish, just like that. And now let's go ahead and draw an eye, just like that, and another eye, just like that. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty ridiculous. It doesn't even really look like it's actually its eye. I, I guess phrasing it, the idea I have in my head, I was thinking a good title for this video would be drawing a fish that's bigger than, drawing a fish with eyes bigger than its body. I was like, that's a good title. But it's not actually quite what I'm thinking of. I'm just thinking of like a fish with a really big eye. 
and even these eyes aren't bigger than its body. I am going to achieve what I want to, what I, what I said I was going to achieve. So I'm going to do this again, and I'm actually going to make the eyes even bigger this time, uh, even bigger than its body. But then the next drawing I'm going to do after that is going to be kind of more in my line of thinking where it's just like a really big eye. So let's go ahead and start right there. Might have made the body a bit big. It is what it is, though. And so the body is that big, so I need to go. There we go. Just like that. Technically speaking, the fish's eyes are bigger than its body. Kind of. I guess a better way of doing it would have been to go like that, actually. So then it looks like two eyes. You know what? I'm just going to leave it as is, though. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not terribly worried about it by any means. Now I'm just going to draw a fish with really big eyes that actually fit on the fish. Technically speaking, I have achieved my goal. I have drawn a fish with eyes bigger than its body. This circle right here is bigger than this fish's body. But uh, it just don't look right. It just don't look right in all honesty. Hey, I'm pretty happy with this fish, in all honesty. I'm pretty happy with most of the drawings I've done today, in all honesty. But none of them have been quite exactly what I said I was going to draw, except for the last one I did just a couple moments ago. Drawing a fish with eyes bigger than its body. Not as good of an idea, and not, not as good of an idea as I was kind of thinking it was going to be, in all honesty. Definitely not. But, um... I mean, like, I'm glad I gave it a shot. I'm glad I gave it a shot because I wouldn't have really ever thought that it wasn't a good idea if I hadn't actually tried myself, in all honesty. But, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I had to say for today's video. Did I draw a fish with eyes bigger than its body? Technically speaking, yes. I just don't really like how it looks. But I did draw one nonetheless. And I did draw a bunch of other drawings that I do like more so than not today. Well, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as well, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my uh, main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. As said, like, subscribe. And until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.